Hey, Internet! It's Color Farty, and welcome back to Balloonorama! So, we are officially halfway through the game now. 60 levels down, 60 to go. And unfortunately, this is the world where things start getting really hard. We're in the cave. Not just any cave, the cave where we first found Pep. So this, is, this world introduces two rather irritating gimmicks. As well as continuing the bumper gimmick from the last, uh, world. So first thing you want to do is hit that question mark balloon up at the top. Also, this is some re oh, yep, yeah, there we go. Rats, Miss Stretch Limo Puppet again. So you just saw the one of the first of the gimmicks, regenerating balloons, or in this case, just randomly appearing balloons. Yeah, this world gets nasty like that, and this is where bumpers are so annoying. It's just like sometimes they stop Pep from doing anything. But yeah, that's just the first of the annoying gimmicks in this world. And I, I do really like the creepy music in this world. Yeah, we're gonna see a lot of generating balloons in this world, as well as a lot of double balloons. Bad move. Although the generating balloons do help make it easy to combo. Super pep, yes! No! Pup putt in your cursed glitchy caboose! Not glitchy, just interesting hitbox detection. So, how about that combo? Bumpers, you can't live with them, you can't live without them. I should probably invest in an optical mouse since I have lost my other one. Oh boy! Come on, Pep! There's plenty to pop! Introducing the eye balloons in the shape of the words eye. They're basically like the balloons that contain smaller balloons inside them, just creepier. Nice confetti combo. Bara. That was close. I can't remember if this level has regenerated balloons. I keep saying regenerating. The kind we saw, it's literally just the balloons don't appear until... I think a certain amount of time has passed. But there are regenerating balloons as well, as we're gonna see later in this world. Yeah, just a couple of eyeballs left. Oh yeah, generating balloons. Stupid Walmart mascot. I keep bringing up the Walmart mascot, and it's mainly because I'm not a fan of Walmart. I prefer the local grocery store we have in Michigan, Meyer. It's much better. Is this the one? Nope. Oh, but this introduces paint Come buckets! On. It's time to do some more popping! So if Pep bounces into one of those paint buckets, then he'll just get knocked off. If you pop the balloon, the paint bucket will drop, and if it lands on Pup Putt, it changes his color to that color, and also stuns him for a bit. So if you're tired of Pup Putt being purple, well, now's the time. And the strings make him bounce off as well. Oh, come on! I completely caught him. Take 
fat monkeys. Alright, I'm gonna try to make this work. Yeah! Unfortunately, yeah, because it stuns pup -Hut, I was not able to catch Pep. I knew I was gonna start having game overs in this uh, world. Or I guess last world. Game overs are difficult to avoid in this game. I'm just thankful that if you have a game over, you get to start from the level you last were on and not the beginning of the game. Still, I love green pup -Hut. Green's my favorite color, don't you know? Well, actually, I guess that depends on the shade of green. Green can be the best color, it can also be easily one of the worst. It all depends on the shade. And uh, yeah, if the paint bucket misses you, then that happens. And get rid of, getting rid of the first paint bucket makes the others much easier to hit. Goodbye, yellow paint bucket. I'm gonna stick with green pot pot. I'm sensing this is not the whole course. There's gonna be regenerating balloons, aren't there? I can't tell if the balloons start appearing after a certain amount of time has passed, or if it's after a certain number of balloons have been popped. Oh, spaceship! Come on, Pep! Nope, no spaceship today. Ooh, pop that one? Yay, thank you, Pep. I think that this is a nice throwback to Papa Joins the Parade. A little cave. And I love all the moon balloons. Come on. Oh, it's the last power-up. And I missed it. Darn it. Papa cannot catch power-ups to save his life, apparently. Those were the Magneto boots. If Pep gets those, then every time he touches Puppet's car, instead of getting automatically launched up again, he'll be, like, stuck to the car, and then you can launch it with a click of the button again. It's pretty useful. Especially since those still make him go full height, as opposed to the first bounce you give him. Also, poor Pep, he just keeps getting launched out of a car in, like, a spiral motion. Still haven't gotten to the really nasty cave level yet. Although this might introduce the other gimmick. Nice combo! Yep! This introduces the pig enemies. They are very annoying. Basically, they drop bowling balls. If they land on Puppa, they will stun him. And they're infinitely spawning, and you can't do anything to get rid of them. Thankfully, they're the only enemies that appear in Bowenorama. But man, are they annoying. Let's pop the Mickey Mouse balloon. Yeah. Thankfully, Pep landed in my chassis still, so... And... kaboom! Sweet. I think this is the nasty level. 
Uh, no, but this introduces yeah, clam balloons. To use some more popping. They're pretty much exactly the same as the eye balloons. They just got the pearl balloon inside them. Yuck! Please no garbage. Papa, you should have caught some garbage instead of uh, just letting Pep drop. Well, yeah, that's free game overs now. Three or four. I lost track. Garbage balloons are out of the way. But that was less cool. Hit the eyeball. Nope, not hitting the eyeball today. It is cool all the different like architecture stuffs the designers made just with balloons. And Balloonorama! Alright, this has got to be the nasty level. Yep! So it looks pretty easy. Yeah, but the uh, regeneration mechanic is really going to come into play for this level. Yeah. And unless I'm mistaken, I think they're on a time limit, so if you spend too much time popping them, they will regrow. I could be wrong about that, but I want to say that's what happens. Yeah, see? There goes more balloons. Yeah, see? The balloons are growing back. So while this is a great level to get points, it is very hard to beat, because they just keep growing back. And sometimes Pep just doesn't want to cooperate. Is there some sort of metaphor here, like, love will rebuild itself or something? I'd love to hear any audience interpretations on this regenerating heart puzzle. Yeah, I'm not sure if it's like they will regrow after a certain amount of time, or if it's like they will regrow a certain number of times and then they'll stop. I'm, right now I'm leaning towards they're on a timer because... Well, maybe not, because nothing's really regrown in a while. I had to say that now. Alright, Pep, we got this. Yes! Patience and perseverance will lead you to victory. Ready to do something really fun? I wouldn't call this world really fun. The next world gets much better. This is arguably the worst world in the game. Like, I think pretty much every world after this is better. With maybe one or two exceptions. But even then, I'd say they're well designed. It's just like... This world introduced all of the annoying mechanics. The pigs and the regenerating hearts. Or the regenerating balloons. We are going to space. These balloons are really annoying to read. Oh yes, we got one. Oh yes, Pep! That was great collision detection. But I will not argue with it. Bonus level. And hey, I'm not green anymore. What gives? How long is uh, how long have I been purple? I'll have to look at that in editing.
To be honest, I don't really know why I'm bothering with the bonus level since my score is completely ruined. But I mean, might as well. Noise. Well, that's gonna do it for this episode. We finally beat the cave. Thank you so much for watching. I'm Colorful Arty. If you tune in next time, we're starting a brand new world, and I guarantee it's gonna be the hottest thing since sliced bread. Have a great day, and God bless.